all praying in tongues, but what I don't see is fire in them. Yeah. I don't see manifestation. I don't see the supernatural. And I said, Lord, I've gone through scriptures. I cannot find that there are two types of Holy Ghost baptism. Right. There's just one. But I'm really confused about this type. Tongues without power. All right. Tongues without fire. Tongues without manifestation. So, Lord, in case you got that type, that's not the type I want. Yeah. Right, amen. Yeah. I want the apostolic type. Yes. Yeah. I want the type that can set things on fire. And then that day I got the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came and started speaking in tongues. I was afraid I was going to lose it. So I just kept speaking in tongues. I just kept speaking in tongues. <laughs> I so spoke. I was spoken for about two, three hours that day. Yes. Wow. It was real. It was solid. It lived in me. And then I went out and I said, I'm going to test this thing out. <laughs> That's how it works. Yes. If you want to know what God can do, go out and just do it. Yes, sir. Just do it. Just do it. You can't walk on the water if you don't step out of your boat. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just go do it. Do it. <laughs> I went to a church to preach. And then after the, the, the message, the Lord spoke to me, lay on some people. Now, if it was before then, when I wasn't sure, but I'm, Lord, I, I, I'm careful. What if the devil shows up here? What if, what if, you know all those what ifs? But this day, there was no what if again. Come I was on. very sure about my identity. Praise God. Well, I laid hands on the first person. Before I realized it, the Holy Ghost came on back. She went under the anointing. So, wow! I've not seen anything close to this before. Come on, preach. It has happened. I've seen it in meetings. But I didn't know that it could happen to me. Yeah. Woo! Wow! She went on the floor and said, Lord, what's mm. this? Come on. Mm. The second person, wow! Lord, this feels good. <laughs> it reminds me, these signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. believe. Wow! Yes. So under the anointing, wow! And then I heard, boom! And the, behind me, I looked when somebody was on the floor without touching her. I said, Lord, he walks. <laughs> Help me tell your neighbor, it works. It works. Yeah. As you leave this place today, Tomorrow, just go out into the marketplace, go out into your wow. home, go all over the place because it works. It works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Don't doubt it another yeah. day. Yeah. This I shall follow them that believe. Amen. Mark, Mark 16 20 says, and they went. Now, I've not got the time to show you the corollary today, but it's, it's just like that. It says, go ye. That's, I think, verse 15. 20 says, and they went. 16 says, preach. 20 says, and they preached. It says, the sign shall follow them. And the Bible says, and God walking with them. With them. Confirming their words. Confirming the words. Come but on. See, you speak, nothing happens. Yeah. But the moment you release the word, something begins to happen. Yeah. God yeah. beginning to confirm their words. With signs following, glory be to God. Woo. Yes. God does not have a reservation of anointing for bishops. <laughs> it's just looking for me yeah. and you. Amen. God does not have a reservation of anointing for apostles. It's just looking for those who can believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Those who are too sure that God cannot fail. And then he shows up on their behalf. Oh, there's an awakening going on. But it's not reserved. It's not the exclusive preserve of bishops and pastors and those who wear titles. I have title, but I prefer the mantle. Yeah. The mantle. The mantle makes the difference. Mantle. This, you need to be sure, is your new identity. Yes. If you didn't know that before, as you leave this meeting, Please go back home and say, I've got a new identity. I've got a new status. Even if there are witches and wizards. Now, I know America, you don't believe so much of some of those things. Of course, back in Africa, we believe a lot in those things. But listen to me. 
if, if there are battles that have overcome you before now, with a change of status, you go back and say, my identity just got changed. You start, what's the difference between the words of a king and the words of a servant? A servant appeals, a king commands. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Lord, if only you could fix this problem. But you go back and say, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Amen. And every tongue Woo! shall confess Jesus. that Jesus Amen. is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. That is the generation of people that God wants. That's the generation of people that is expected to shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen.